What up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Something, something, something. Hit the keys. Here today to bring you guys a quick little unboxing. Uh, this company named Aku Extro hit me up and asked me if I wanted to check out some of their foam acoustic panels. So I said, why not? Go ahead and send them over. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to find out. But let's go ahead and get right into this unboxing. Some, some, some. Hit the key. Alright, so they sent me a couple different packs. They're uh, in this box right here, so I know they are compressed. Um, and they're air sealed, um, so let's go ahead and just cut open the packaging and get into it. Alright, so um, they do have different color panels, that's obviously something that I like. So they did send me two different styles of the panels to check out. So let's go ahead and open these up and check them out. So when you get the panels, uh, I know that they said that they are airtight and compressed, so they are going to be super thin. So uh, they're going to be about this thin when you get them. See how they're uh, paper thin? Uh, but you're supposed to add water to them, and once you add water to them, they expand, and they grow out to be two inches. So um, that's obviously a plus. And these also have the adhesive on the back. So all you got to do is peel off this layer right here, and then it can stick to wherever surface that you need it to stick to. So that's a plus so that you don't have to get any, um, you know, any adhesive to put on the back or any tape or anything like that. It already comes with it. Um, so it looks like each pack comes with, what, six per pack, but there was 12 in a pack. So, um, you know, it's not bad. Um, you know, they're two inches again once they expand. So um, that's not bad compared to uh, the foam that you get on Amazon that is uh, one inch, you know. So let's go ahead and open up this other pack real quick. Check it out. So this does look like it's a little thicker coming out of the package than the other one. Um, but again, it does have the, um, the adhesive on the back. So let's go ahead and compare. But they're two different types of panels. So again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and apply some water to these. Uh, let them sit for a little bit and then I'll come back uh, probably sometime tomorrow and we'll do a couple tests and we'll see uh, what they're like and you know we'll see if they're worth swooping up so we'll be back all right guys so i'm back i ended up putting the foam in water and letting them sit for a few days as they grew to size um, basically here's some of the panels right here or some of the foam right here uh, these two right here on top i did soak and then i let these sit for a few days um, if you remember the packages how these were super flat uh, when I woke up the next morning, these were already like half size, so I didn't put these in water because I wanted to see how they would grow, um, and they grew to full size. So as you're looking at the panels, um, the ones that didn't sit in water actually grew to full size. Um, so basically with these panels, I do like them. They are about two inches thick, as you can see. They are pretty thick. 
Um, I'm going to show you guys a few things I forgot to mention. You can grab these on Amazon. Uh, they do range between uh, $29 to $36. Um, some of them are on sale depending on the style and the color that you get. So they have these mushroom ones and they also have uh, pyramid shaped ones. Um, so some of them are on sale from 5 to 10% off. You can also use the code something some HTK and get an additional 5% off at um, checkout so you can get up to 15% off, which isn't a bad deal. Um, and again, these are thick foam, so um, I'm not giving my opinion based off of the fact that you can use the affiliate link and your boy uh, does help the channel out. Uh, I'm just going to let you guys know what I think as I always do. Um, so with these panels, as you look at the back, they do have um, adhesive that you can uh, place either on your wall, your door, wherever you want to place it, window, wherever you want to place it. Uh, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put it on cardboard and use these like panels. Um, so what we're going to do is I just want to show you that they do stick real quick. Um, so all you got to do basically, um, I basically cut the cardboard up so that they can be panel size so that I can put them either behind my speakers or I can put them in just different places. I'm going to show you a little technique that you can use with these as well. Um, but I've already pre-cut these and I've already got them ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. Um, you know, you just peel that off. And as you look at the back, you can see, you can hear the stickiness. Um, and so bam, we're just going to go ahead and stick these right on here um, like so. I guess it's going to go right here on this corner. Boom. And like I said, I already measured out the cardboard. The reason I'm using this again is so that I can move it around. I already have panels, as you can see. So um, this foam is just going to actually help a little bit more with some of the sound. Um, something else to keep in mind with these panels is that they aren't soundproofing your room. Um, this foam, what it does is it basically diffuses sound. So as you're talking and the sound is bouncing off the walls, it's going to diffuse the reverb in the room um, and it's going to cut down that echo for you. So let's go ahead and hurry up and knock these out. And I'm going to show you guys a cool little trick that nobody really talks about, but it is something that you can do with these panels as well, which makes them, um, you know, a nice little tool that you can use. I also want to mention that these are more than just for music. You can use these if you're a gamer or if you're working at home and you are, um, you know, doing conference calls and stuff like that. And you have a lot of reverb going on in your room. Um, something like this will help to cut down on that echo in those meetings. Um, so one more to apply. Boom. And then I'm going to grab the other two that I already made. So I already made two panels. And so, you know, as you'll see, you know, I have a nice little set of panels here. So I'm actually going to do a little test for you guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my mic and I'm going to do a little sound test in my actual condenser mic, not the microphone that I'm using on the camera. And I'm going to uh, do one with some foam around it and then without the foam around it so that you can hear the difference. Um, so give me just one moment as I get that set up. All right, guys. So I've switched over to my Rode NT1. And basically what I want to do is a blind test. So I'm not going to hear the results until in post. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to make a difference or not, but we're going to find out today. Um, I understand that my room is already kind of treated as I have acoustic panels up and I have stuff in the room. Um, but what I want to see is how it's going to sound uh, the microphone um, without the foam up. And then I'm going to put foam up kind of like a makeshift booth. Um, you know, we always use shields and stuff as artists, uh, but I always wondered why people didn't just make their own little shield out of acoustic foam, uh, maybe with a box. And then like I did here, and then you can move that, that panel and put it wherever you want. So now after you're done using it to record, you can put it behind your speakers or your monitors for your early reflections, or you can put it on your wall, um, for mixing and stuff like that. So, um, you guys are hearing me speak, uh, without the acoustic foam up. Uh, when I come right back, you guys are going to hear me speak with the foam up, but you might not be able to see me it's gonna look kind of ghetto i know you know all right guys so i'm back uh tell me how this sounds uh i don't know um but to me it does sound like uh there is a lot less reverb as i'm speaking forward um it does sound like uh, you would probably get a pretty high quality recording uh trying something like this um you know i know it does look pretty ghetto um, but again, it will work. And then when you're done, you can take these panels, move them and use them um, in a different place. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to the regular screen now and I uh, take this down. 
All right, guys, so I do think that the acoustic panels are nicely built. Um, they are nice and thick. Pause. Um, if you're looking for foam uh, for your gaming room, for your studio, for your conference room, for your media room, whatever you're looking for, um, I would definitely check these out. They do have a few different colors. So they have yellow, um, they have black, they have blue, they have red. They also have, again, like I said before, the mushroom design and the pyramid design. Um, so I would definitely recommend checking that out. Make sure you use promo code something something HTK at checkout. Um, to get yourself an extra 5% off of the 5 to 10% they're already offering on the sale. Uh, that's two somethings HTK. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.